Okay, uh, this is the morning of. This is when we're going to feed. I normally feed in the morning simply because dogs are diurnal, daytime uh, living animals. Um, cats, on the other hand, are nocturnal. If I owned a cat, I would be feeding it at night. Why is this? It's a simple fact that the hypothalamus of dogs are more activated during the day. So, because they are using energy throughout the day, it only makes sense to prepare them for the day with a good meal. Um, they utilize it all up and they will tend not to get fat and tend to process their food better. Um, that said, uh, whether I have prepared my vegetable prop matter with the vegetable chopper or whether I have used the juicer and drank the juice myself with my girlfriend and used the pulp for the dogs, the result is the same. I have the pulp here. Uh, your own sink space may be bigger than mine. Uh, we live in a small cottage on 50 acres. Uh, this is our sink space. I have my bowl stacked here. I actually have 10 dogs, uh, but uh, some of them are inside and I feed them second. I feed the five yard dogs first. That's my situation. You're going to get your own unique setup. And so uh, I'm just giving you an idea of what mine is. But here's what I do I have my vegetables here, I have my gizzards here. In the sink, I have liver and I also have beef tripe. This is uncooked beef intestine. This is uncooked beef liver from Solstice Meats. I get these at Walmart. They're pretty cheap. This is $1.18 a pound. This is uh, $0.75 cents a pound. Um, this here is uh, over a pound. This is $1.57. It's about $0.90 cents a pound for the gizzards. Um, and in the sink here, I have 10 total dogs. I have 10 soft boiled eggs. This is the only cooked item in my portfolio of food. Why do I cook the eggs? For whatever reason, with eggs, and only eggs in relation to this presentation, uh, raw eggs, the raw albumin, which is the white, is better processed when it's cooked Yet the yolk is healthier when fed raw. So how do we get around that? Well, if I totally cook the eggs and the yolk by hard boiling them, then I've rendered the white more usable as a protein source, but I've ruined the yolk, which has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. So you soft boil them, which means cooking for two minutes at a boil to where the white is cooked, but the yolk stays raw. It's the most nutritious way you can serve eggs. So, that's what I do is I soft boil 10 eggs. I got 10 dogs. If I had 15 dogs, I'd have 15 eggs, etc. I had two dogs, two eggs. Um, take one of the bowls here and I put the egg in. I crack it open a little bit. You can see it's white. The, the white is cooked essentially, but the yolk is still runny. So I give them an egg, okay? And I give them two nice tablespoons of the veggie mix. In back here, I have a special blend of oils that I mentioned in my book, either the Dog Owner's Little Black Book or the Pitbull Bible. It's a special blend of three oils that I keep. I buy it by the gallon. You can actually buy it by the five gallon, which I used to when I had a huge yard, yard of dogs, but I don't have a lot of dogs anymore. Um, but anyway, I take the oils, and I got this uh, Mariel Animal Measure use whatever measuring device you want. I give them about two ounces of oil a piece. Okay? And I add that to the mix. The oil is good for their coat and essential fatty acids, etc. Now this these are milk products. Some people debate the virtue of milk products that dogs don't have the enzyme to pro process lactase. Uh, be that as it may, yogurt has essential probiotics. It has uh, what am I trying to say? The microflora, Enterococcus faecium, it's got a lot of microbiotics that assist the dog in digestion. Uh, plain yogurt is easy to get. I get this cheaply at Walmart. It's, uh, and I add a glop of that to the dogs. However, what's even better than yogurt is kefir. Tremendously expensive though. This cost me $8 for a quart. Uh, 
Tina and I are going to actually start raising our goats, our own goats. It's goat milk. Goat milk is better than cow's milk. It's a fact that dogs process goat milk better than they do cow milk. That's fact one. Two, kefir has more probiotics or uh, microbiotics in there to aid in digestion than any other form of milk. And for that reason, I tend to add a glob of kefir. If I don't have kefir, I use yogurt. But uh, we're going to start using kefir in our dog's food, not so much as a protein source, though it does add protein, but more importantly, it aids in the digestion. And from there, we've got the egg, we've got the veggie, veggies, we've got the oil, we've got the yogurt. Then what I do is, basically, if I have a really big dog, I'll give him a whole chicken quarter. If I got a small dog, I'll give him a piece. Whatever size dog that you have, and are going to feed, you're going to give them either the whole thing or in this case I'm going to give a small amount of chicken and use this for the next dog. On the side here I've got a big canister of chicken. Uh, Walmart used to have 10 pound bags of chicken for 58 cents a pound. That's uh, $5.80 for 10 pounds. They've gone up. They're about $6.98 where I'm at. So I got these at a local store. You can go to some of the local stores for $4.80 for 10 pounds. That's 48 cents a pound. Uh, if you do the math on my uh, diet, my whole diet, and this is the best food you could possibly feed, is about $1.20 a pound. Um, to that I'm going to add the gizzards, the chicken gizzards, I add about two ounces. I've been doing this a long time, so that's about two ounces right there. I add two ounces of that. I'm going to cut open the liver, add two ounces of the liver, cut open the uh, entrails, I'm going to add another two ounces of tripe, okay? And I'll do that in a minute. It takes a little while, so I'm not going to do it on camera, but I'm going to show you the full presentation in a minute, okay? Okay, now I've made everything that I had to make, and now I'm going to show you a close up of what I'm talking about in a raw diet. This is the chicken I added, okay? It's kind of nasty, but this is the beef tripe. This is the guts. This is the chicken gizzards. This is the egg, the soft-boiled egg. These are the vegetables, okay? This is the liver. These are the gizzards. This is a, a you can see the moisture in it. You can see the color. You can see that this is a raw diet, okay? Now, these other kibble companies talk about, you know, all these ingredients, but at the end of the day, this is what they give you, okay? Please, you kibble lovers, don't tell me that this is the same as this. It's not. This is nutritious food. This is totally devalued, totally burned, utterly destroyed food items that you feed to your dog regularly if you're a kibble feeder. This is the best kibble there is. This is taste of the wild. Orion looks just the same. This is what dogs are supposed to eat raw. This is the, pr well, let me say this. The raw whole animals are what dogs are supposed to eat. But if you're going to feed your dog something other than raw whole animals, you can get it at the store and feed optimally. This is as good as any dog can possibly eat. We've gone over the ingredients. What's more, this costs about $1.20 a pound. This costs about $3 a pound and it's it's nowhere near the nutrition that this is so why pay three to four dollars a pound for this when you can pay a dollar nineteen for this okay point made now i'm going to go to one last vital aspect of the premium raw diet that needs to be addressed after i first feed uh... one of my dogs the raw diet to show you know people say oh it's so dangerous to feed raw these are chicken bones everything in here we're going to feed a raw diet and show how that's uh... a falsehood and then we're going to go to the final element, which is cleanup. That's a very important part of raw feeding. So let's go. Okay, now comes feeding time. Keep in mind that this female has had pups only two months ago. This is Sarah Connor. This is one of my females. She's a double granddaughter silverback. She has had puppies, five puppies, nursed them only two months ago. 
if you look at the coat and condition of this bitch for an animal that just had a litter, uh, she's in phenomenal shape, period. Uh, some of you might have my 20 years of breeding secrets DVD and I get into the proper way to whelp bitches to get them back into shape as quickly as possible. <clears throat> and Sarah Connor's condition shows the kind of shape that a bitch should be in very quickly after she delivers puppies when properly managed. Um, right now she's chewing the chicken, bones and all. You can hear it. That's what dogs are supposed to do with their teeth. They chew with their back molars, break it off into bite-sized bits, and they slug it down as quick as they can. They're not designed to eat little brown pellets and, and chew them and get them all in between their teeth, uh, which really, because they have carbs, have a lot of sugar in them too. Now she's done with the big piece. She's gonna eat the uh, tripe, the intestine. She's gonna eat the chicken gizzards. The vegetables, the kefir in this case, or yogurt if uh, you don't have access to kefir, and the egg and the yolk. And she's going to lick the platter clean, and you can see she looks phenomenal. Uh, I wish I uh, were doing this before she had her pups because she was even in better shape, and she'll be in better shape still in another two months. Two months ago, she had huge udders hanging down to her knees, and she's dried up this much on my diet and program uh, since that time. So this is the final result of feeding raw as a phenomenally conditioned animal. I shouldn't say conditioned, but she's in excellent shape, excellent health, and bounces right back to vital form uh, as she was uh, when I fed her the rabbit, as well as uh, silverback as a nine-year-old animal. Okay, now let's get to the most important part of the premium raw diet, or perhaps not the most important part, but a vital part of it, which is cleanup. Okay, now as a wrap up to the premium raw diet section of this video presentation, I mentioned one of the most important elements, and that is cleanup. Okay, we just had, uh, we just fed Sarah Connor and the whole yard, let's say. We fed, fed the whole yard of dogs, and this is our, where our workstation was. Every part of that has to be cleaned and washed. Um, keep in mind, this is raw food materials. Um, I perhaps could have left this section in the myth busting. Uh, section. I don't know, but a lot of people say, oh, there's there's uh, uh, salmonella bacteria. You can get infected. Well, not if you have a half, a half an ounce of range, you won't. I've been doing this for eight years, feeding a lot of dogs, a lot of raw products. I've never gotten sick. Why? Because I wash my hands. I, I clean the area. Now, I've just used raw meat in this area, human grade, human grade raw meat. One of your best friends is going to be a simple bottle of bleach water. This is a bottle of bleach water mixed at one part bleach to 20 parts water. Again, that's one, let's say one ounce of bleach to 20 ounces of water. That's the optimal disinfectant ratio for bleach to water, one to 20. And what I do first is I put this in the sink. And you gotta be careful because there's a lot of liquid that comes out of this. I put it in the sink, okay? And I spray it down twice. The whole area I worked at, I spray it with bleach. Okay? And I've got some paper towel. I guess I'll just I'll hold this here for now. Normally I put it down. But I, I wash it once just to kind of get all the moisture out. Okay? Then, bear with me and throw it in the trash. I do it again. And that's it. After I'm done, I've got to do this as part of the raw regimen. If you're feeding straight up raw components, that's what you've got to do. It's a little bit extra work, yes. And you may be thinking to yourself, wow, this is a lot of work to do just to feed my dogs. Well, it is. But it is also the best you can do for your dogs. Excuse me, one second. Um, but I'm going to show you how it saves you work in the end. Because when you uh, look at the turds that come out of your dogs. I showed uh, in the uh, raw whole animals feeding the small rock hard turds that come out of these dogs. I'm going to show you in another section of this tape called 
other advantages of raw. All this cleanup you're doing now is on your kitchen sink, in the in your home. Those little hard turds that I keep talking about, uh, they bounce out of your pens and everything else. You don't have to clean, excuse me, dog shit in your pens because it bounces out. If you have the proper above ground pens, like I mentioned in my book, <coughs> uh, and you have wood slats and your dogs are on these pens and they have slats so that their little turds can drop through. If you're feeding raw, that'll work. It does not work if you're feeding kibble because you got pasty gooey turds which I've also showed you and will show you the difference in this presentation. So, yeah, I'm doing a lot of cleanup and a lot of work out of the gate feeding my dogs, but I'm saving myself work in the end cleaning crap at the end of the day because we've got to take care of our dogs. If we have 10, 15 dogs, we've got to take care of them. Who wants a bunch of gooey, pasty poop everywhere that you've got to clean, scrub, scrub, clean, scrub, uh, pardon me, shit. This is all I got to do. Spray this a little bit. It's clean. Turn this on. I'm going to uh, rinse this off. Scrub it down a little bit. Bleach it. Dry it. I'm done. That's all I have to do to clean up. Just that little bit of extra effort is all I've really got to do. In the privacy of my own home, I'm not on my hands and knees scrubbing. I'm not in a cage scrubbing uh, poop out of kennels. I'm just dealing with a little bit of cleanup right after the deal. So uh, that'll be the last part of the premium raw diet presentation is the cleanup. It is important. You don't want to leave a bunch of meat juice everywhere uh, because you want to be sanitary. And that's all I do is a little bit of cleanup. And I've been doing this a long time. Never got sick once. Never had any of my dogs get sick. So I could have added this in the myth busting section as far and, and I do talk about it a little bit. But it's it's another scare tactic. It just doesn't happen. If you have any kind of cleanliness or sense about you, it's not going to happen. You you take care of the cleanup and you're fine. There's no danger whatsoever, provided you have some basic horse sense and cleanliness about you. So, uh, before we move on to some of the other details, I'm going to go into a low budget raw diet. Uh, part of it is cooked, also the wild rice or uh, brown rice that you'll see. This is a lower budget diet that perhaps some larger kennels will do. I mean, if you have 30, 40, 50 dogs, which, just think about it, you might have too many dogs anyway. Uh, you're no longer a breeder, you're an animal hoarder. But be that as it may, if you have a whole bunch of dogs, I have an economical way to deal with that that perhaps isn't as extensive as the raw diet I just showed you. Very low budget, but it's still better than kibble, so we'll get into that now. And I uh, hope you enjoy this next section. I'm often asked the question, well, where do we keep all this raw stuff? Well, the answer is simply in a big deep freezer. This is a deep freezer that I have a lot of stuff stored in. You can see the birds are stored there. I've got rabbit. I've got whole bags of chicken. I mean, I've got a lot of stuff. Gizzards. I've got a whole bunch of stuff stored here in, a, in uh, the garage. I've got a workshop. Um, you too can buy one of these things pretty cheap, about $135, you can buy them used cheaper. But this is where I keep all of my raw goods. When I had a lot of dogs, I had a huge deep freezer. I don't use it anymore, I just keep it open. But uh, I had over six, seven, eight hundred pounds worth of uh, raw material uh, kept in, the, uh, in my freezer, uh, in, my, in both of my freezers. But back to this one, you get the focus. Uh, this is where you keep your raw materials. I don't keep it in the house as too much. I got too many dogs, but it doesn't really take up any extra space and it stays good as long as you want it to. Uh, so I thought I would get to this before I went to go feeding the dogs raw.